Let's take a look at what we've got here. This is the Rabbit Labs Limited Edition CC1101 High Power Board. This is for the 433 megahertz range when used with your Flipper Zero. Let's take a look at this thing. First thing you have to know is each one is individually numbered. There are 100 of these that they've made. This is Rabbit Labs. This is a case for the CC1101 with the antenna. Now, both sides have this fastener. One side opens and you have to be careful when you open it because when you do, it puts a lot of tension on this side. So you gotta open it nice and slow and carefully so it doesn't bust that fastener on the back. And here it is open. The case holds the tiny antenna and the board itself, the high powered flux capacitor. Each one is individually numbered, so one of 100, two of 100, three of 100, just like that. And the board itself is individually numbered too. Now let's take a look at the board and we can compare it with the standard version. So here we go, right here we can see that it says 1.21 gigawatts there. It says the Rabbit Labs limited edition. Kind of cool. And right there it says CC1101 HP for high power. The back side looks much different. The design is very, very different. Let's bring in the OG. So this is version 2.2 right here. And you can see that there are some differences. The design is different. Cover of the board here is black. Writing is like a gold or yellow. And here is blue. Some of them are really, really dark blue. Got the little rabbit on there. I made sure to stick the rabbit on here too. What are you focusing on camera? Same thing over here, the chip is the same chip. And here you'll see, this also has a number, limited edition, one of 100, two of 100, three of 100, like that. We don't need roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. This is California right there. California out of time. Now these boards function exactly the same. There's no difference in them and how they function. And let's hook, uh, let's hook it up, take a look. So the first thing you need to know about this chip is you must always, always, always plug in the antenna. Or screw in the antenna. Take the antenna out here, we'll do that right now. Don't use this chip without the antenna ever. has a great chance of busting on you. Now, one of the reasons that I prefer using an external antenna is because the external antennas are far superior when you get a good quality one than the internal one in the flipper itself. Power it up. All right. 
Let's go to uh, Brute Force, take a look. Now really, the only best way to test this, I suppose, is let's hook the other one up to a flipper. Cool. Plug that sucker in. Let's screw this antenna on as well. Remember, always use the antenna for the flux. All right, let's play around a little bit. So what we'll do in this case is, let's do a little sub gigahertz brute force. Never hurt anyone, right? Do a longer one. Where are you? Right here. There we go. We'll do this one. And we'll let that run for a little bit. Then we'll check over here. So we'll go to our sub gigahertz. And let's do frequency analyzer. See if anything comes up. Oh, yeah. So you'll see that it'll, it's just going to keep coming up with this over and over and over. And now let's go to a different one. Let's try something on the 433. Ah, there it goes right away. Look at that. And you'll notice there's a lot more detail when we go into that 433, you see? See how I'm getting a lot more granular detail on my flipper here? But they work the exact same. So if I flip this up and I decide, okay, I'm going to use my brute force here. Let's go to another 433. That was good. Boom. So we start that up. And then let's scan over here. Let's see what we can find, shall we? Frequency analyzer, boom, there it goes. It's already hitting it. Lots and lots. So you can see that the antenna works very well. They were, you know, exactly the same. You know what I just did notice in making this video though? Is, first of all, I don't have the high powered on. So let's turn that on right now. Make sure when you're using this board that you turn the high power on. And the way we're gonna do that is go into radio settings, external power amp on. Let's do that on this one too. Radio settings. Oh, the external power up on this one was on. Good. And let's see what a difference that makes on the limited edition when we do a brute force attack. Let's see. We're gonna run this. There it goes. Oh, and now we get that blink. So let's see the difference when we want a brute force here. See what we got. So colors are the same. We've got red and green. Colors are the exact same. Functioning the exact same way. So this is a great chip, the same as its predecessor. The look is so cool. It's great that it comes with this little limited edition case. Yeah, this is the limited edition flux capacitor by Rabbit Labs.